Hello and welcome to the fourth edition of A Very Vintage Christmas with Little Antique Me. Today we will be doing the 1950s, which I'm very excited about. This particular craft I'm ex super excited about because my mom actually introduced me to this craft and she used to do it as a kid as well. Um, and so I thought this would be the perfect one to do for today. We are going to make ice cube candles, much like this picture. And I also got, not only did I get this idea from my mom, but I also got it from our book that we've been using, A Very Vintage Christmas by Susan Wagner from the 1950s section. Um, and it's quite simple, it's a lot of fun. I have a feeling kids would enjoy this as well. So let's get started. So what you're going to need for this particular craft is you're going to need a milk carton or a half and half carton. I just got this from our milkman. It's just a little tiny carton. You're gonna need some wax. You're gonna need a tin to melt the wax in and a pot for putting the water in for melting the wax. Also, you're gonna wanna buy some wicks with a weight at the bottom. So as you can see, this one has a little metal weight at the bottom. And a pencil could come in handy as well. And the most important part is you're gonna need some ice cubes. So to start with, you're going to put some water in your pan and put that on to boil. And while that's getting ready, we can put some of our wax into our tin. So I didn't really measure this, I just kind of went for it. Um, and so we're gonna kind of fill it up. And I chose red because I thought it would be kind of festive and fun. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go put this in our boiling water and melt it down and then we'll come right back. All right, so now that our wax is nice and uh, melted, we are going to go ahead and get our carton ready and my eldest is going to help me. Wanna say hi? Hi. Okay, so little one, if you wanna grab your carton and find a um, wick that you like. So we're gonna put this out here so everybody can see. So you're gonna set your wick inside the carton. Make sure that little disc is flat on the bottom. Is it flat? Is it crooked? Okay, did you get it all nice and flat? Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna get your pencil that you got earlier. And we are going to wrap this around so that it stands up nice and straight, okay? Okay. And then do you wanna set that there? Make sure it's nice and straight. How's that look? Good. Look good? Okay, so now what you wanna do, I'm gonna actually scooch over and give you some more space. Why don't you get some of those ice cubes out while I go grab the wax? Uh, you're gonna fill it up. You're gonna okay. put some ice cubes in there until it's nice and full. Okay. All right, and I'll be right back. You go ahead and do that. You got it all filled up with ice? Yes. Okay, is it good? Yes. Having fun? Yes. Yay. Okay, so now we have our hot water, we have our melted wax, and guess what we're gonna do now? What? We're gonna pour it in. Okay. okay? I'm gonna do this part, is that okay? Cause it's kinda hot. Yeah. And I already burnt myself. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so we're gonna pour that right over top. Try not to bump that wick. Right over top of those ice cubes. Nice and pretty. All right, let's move this hot and stuff. Hot. And hot, that's right. <laughs> so let's move this out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna let this set until that wax is nice and hard. And we are, we, yeah, I see it's on our pencil, you're right. We're gonna <laughs> set that one aside. We actually have another one already yeah. ready because, you know. We wanted to. We wanted to and we didn't wanna, you know take up all of your time for one day. So we're gonna set this here. Okay, so now that it's nice and hard and set, we are gonna cut that box off. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, do you wanna do it? Uh, I guess so. Oh, no. You guess so? You can do it? You wanna cut down the side? Yeah. 
Don't cut my finger though. <laughs> it's gonna be a little wet in there. You can't get in down there? No. Let me help you. Good try. Good job. Let's see if I can get it through. <laughs> Alright, let's see if maybe we can rip it apart. How's that sound? So there might be a few ice cubes left in there. But it should. Ooh, nice and messy. Look at that. <laughs> wow. It should come off. Yeah, you hear the water. Let's see, we're almost to the bottom. Yep. It's looking cool though. Yeah. It's gonna have some cool holes when we're done. Uh -huh. So let's move that out of the way because we don't need that anymore. No way. Let's get that ice cube out of there. Oh, I hear the ice cube sloshing around. You hear it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, the last but not least is we're gonna trim that wick down because that's way too much wick. And set that aside. And now, once you have let it completely dry and harden, which this one is not quite there yet, you can actually go ahead and light this and have a lovely candle and the holes will start showing up some more as it continues to dry. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. I know we enjoyed making it. Did you enjoy making it? Yeah. Yay. Um, and I hope you check out our other crafts we did. Last week we did 1940 banded glass ornaments. And then before that we did the 1930s, which we made a beautiful star wreath. Or no, excuse me, star tree topper. And then we also made beautiful postcards. Did you help with that one too? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay, so anyway, um, we will see you soon, hopefully on Monday, if everybody is feeling better here. If you try this craft, feel free to send us a video or a picture. We would love to see, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Well, little antique me and her little mini me are going to say goodbye for now, and we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.